So, Ron Lear, welcome, Chief Architect and Director of IP from the CMMA Institute. It's great to have you. Thanks, Jeff. Great to be here. Great. Ron, this is a big week for you guys, or a big month all around. Uh, why don't you tell everybody what's happening over there? Well, I think the, the biggest thing is that most of, most of your audience probably is aware, but we launched version 2.0 last Wednesday um, as planned. Um, that would have been March 28th. That included our online model viewer, the new um, appraisal method definition document, uh, a brand new adoption and transition guide for users, um, both new and existing users, and a whole suite of training courses and, and materials for our partners. So we're very, very excited about 2.0. Wow, so you, you got that all done in a one week, huh? Yeah, well, the launch went into one week, but it was a uh, long-term event going from, as most of you know, um, the last update to 1.3 was back in 2000, about 10. So this has been a long time coming. Um, the real primary core effort in terms of development, the latest content and stuff, that, that push has been really hot and heavy with our core team and all the members of the partners and the PAB and the client advisory board with a input from our various customers and community. Over the last three years, it's been really concentrated. So. Um, culminated in last week's pushing it out to the community and to the world. Yeah, so I think that um, if I recall, the, the SDI had about 80 people working on this CMMI program and you guys have, uh, I don't know, around 20 or 25. How did you get a release this complicated out? It's a great question. So it was first and foremost a team effort. We had um, augmenting that team of 20 plus people we had over 300 contributors from around the world, um, from our partners, um, from our community, sponsors, et cetera. Great rallying, great support across the board. Um, the challenge with that is we got so much great content, great inputs, great advice, um, sifting through it, making sure it fell in line with the architecture and so forth became kind of a challenge, but it actually, we had a process for that, went through it fairly well. Uh, we went through several iterations on that and feedback we're getting so far from 2.0 is that very, very positive, very, very positive. So the, the big word I keep hearing is architecture and uh, people are saying it's very different and there's lots of changes and, and people are asking what that means. And well, you're the chief architect. Tell us what it means. What is this new architecture like? Sure. So this is a topic obviously near and dear to my heart. Um, the thing we heard very, very strongly from partners, from communities, and particularly buyers of companies who are using CMMI was, I want it more reliable, I want it cheaper, I want it to actually impact my business performance, I don't want box checking going on, and don't just give me a 1.4. I want a really completely revised model, everything. So we started, looking at the entire product suite um, from an integrated product suite perspective. Um, looking in the past, you'll see that the MDD was created in a stovepipe. You'll see that the model was created in essentially a stovepipe. There wasn't really any adoption guidance out there that was created by the source information. Um, it sprung up from a lot of different partners doing it a lot of different ways, all of which were great ideas. So we took all that together and integrated it into a single integrated product suite architecture that has five primary components, the model being one of them, the appraisal method being another piece, the adoption guide being a third piece, training and certifications as a fourth piece, and then the systems and tools to support all of that. Um, many of you will know this fondly called now as the rainbow donut. Um, the rainbow donut is basically how we're representing the high level, the component of the architecture. But then within the model and the MDD itself, they have their own, I'll say, subset and sub-architectures that link together very clearly, very consciously in terms of how they're designed. I'd say the main thing about the architectural difference is we have realigned the architecture to flex to any new standard, any new requirement, any new methodology that's out there. So as a new methodology pops up. We're hearing a lot about DevOps or Sec DevOps. Um, Agile is now included in 2.0. Any of those new methodologies that pop up in the future can immediately be rolled into the content. That's one of the beauties about the new architecture. So we keep hearing the word extensible uh, about the architecture. What does that mean? 
So that means it can be transferred and used in a variety of different ways for a variety of different industries. Um, we're already proving this in a couple of ways. Um, the CMMI sprang out of, as you all know, out of sort of a DOD push with an FFRDC funding through the SEI. And that's where it predominantly first took its foothold. And then it spread over to commercial organizations. And we saw that over the years kind of flip flop back and forth as the pendulum swung. Um, what this has done with the new architecture is allow us to extend the content, extend the model, and extend the applicability of CMMI into virtually any industry now. We have plans for very exciting things beyond services, which is probably going to be next, into security, safety, DevOps. We're even talking about things like um, customer engagement PAs, um, virtual corporations, robotic process automation, and AI all of which the CMMI now can flex to and accommodate in this new architecture. And that's what extensible means. It sounds very ambitious. It sounds like you got a lot of projects yet to complete. We do, we do. And one of the challenges, and I'll use this as a shout out moment to your audience, we need feedback. We wanna know what customers are looking for, what their demand is, so we can flex that development schedule to hit the stuff that's most important and hit it in the timing when, when we can get it out there and really make it useful for people. So if there was one thing you really wanted people to know about the model and I'd limit, limit you to one idea uh, on this video, what's one thing you want people to know? We've changed the CMMI from a process improvement model to a performance improvement model. Wow, that, that's excellent, good. Hey Ron, thanks so much for your time. Ron Lear, Director of Architecture from the CMMI Institute. Make sure to go to cmmiinstitute.com. Ron's put a lot of nifty stuff out there for you. So thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Jeff.